on March 10, 2022, Konkala Kupa Mines KCM official receiver Natasha Kalimukwa suspended Milingolungu as KCM provisional liquidator pending the outcome of an inquiry instituted against him pursuant to Section 691 of the Corporate Insolvency Act No. 9 of 2017. In a brief statement, Ms. Kalimukwa disclosed that Mr. Lungu had been notified of the suspension made following receipt of a complaint lodged by ZCCM Investment Holdings PLC relating to contract mismanagement, financial mismanagement and asset mismanagement. But in response to a letter done by his lawyer, Makebi Zulu, Mr. Lungu had opposed his suspension, alleging that it was illegal. Mr. Lungu had maintained his position as a provisional liquidator of KCM, saying his position was appointed by the Court of Law. In a turn of event, Mr. Lungu has resigned from his position. Speaking to Diamond TV in a telephone interview, Mr. Lungu, who is also a lawyer by profession, says he has done his part as provisional liquidator of the mining firm. No, 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 I've resigned. I've resigned. Okay, mm. why? I think uh, I've done my part, and uh, I don't think uh, my prolonged stay there, especially if I have to start going to court, is going to be beneficial to the company or any of its stakeholders. Mm -hmm. In 2019, KCM was placed under liquidation and the Lusaka High Court appointed Milingolungu as the provisional liquidator. In this matter, ZCCMIH petitioned KCM seeking an order that it should be wound up for engaging in tax evasion and being managed in a manner detrimental to the interest of government, among other issues. However, in 2021, the Drug Enforcement Commission charged and arrested Milingolungu for allegedly stealing the mining firm's money. The commission alleged that Mr. Lungu was transferring huge sums of money from KCM official bank account to his personal account. Some of the money involved includes 4.4 million kwacha and 17 million 250,000 kwacha, among others. Dallas, Jonia, Damo News.